Yeah, I remember there was a way that you can click to, is it that one? Time lapse. Was it? Herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. The best thing is, like, ba Baz and Tharos can perfectly understand this guy. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Something Eine about a snack. Findet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze Let's go. sind mit Steckdosen. Board of him. Why is the bus automatic and not manual? Most of them are automatic, though. No? Could you speak Australian? Australian is English. It's the dialect of... I think he said Squirrel would be handing out snacks. Lol. As if. Oh, that was close. So we've got to Perpignan and then we've got to break at 11 a.m. Okay. Can you import Yorkshire tea into Sweden? Uh, probably. You're just gonna have to pay like shipping and import tax. Yikes, the bloom. Can we dial that down? Well, that's one way of getting rid of Bloom. <laughs> How does that work? Ah, oh, yeah, it's too much Bloom for me. Car disappears. I don't know, is there, is there a honking misbehavior? That would be fun. That seems to work. Your Yorkshire tea over Amazon to Germany without a problem. Nice. Tell you what, though, the brakes are made out of Swiss cheese. Oh, it's our favourite junction. Remember this? Where the police deliberately rammed into us.
You can buy Yorkshire tea in Australia already. Really? That's pretty cool. I don't think some of these speed limits are correct. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Maybe I should have sat forward a touch. Any chance we're getting back the Benz bus? You guys pick this one. Yeah, the road texturing is is just absolutely wrong. Like you say, it just looks like it's constantly cracked. It's been way overdone. I was indicating. It wasn't my fault. One accident hype. To the dark tunnel. Spooky. Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Oh my god, I told it to copy all the settings. It's not really a green light. That's crazy. I did that last time and it put the barrier down on me. Hello. 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 I want that as a sound bite. Hello. <laughs> You put, you put a delivery with squirrel high, he goes. Hello. Hello. Hello and herzlich willkommen. Oh my god. We freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam. I can't, I can't deal with this. Right, one sec. Controls, Skyliner. What's now in the general? Begin announcement. Left. I think what it does is it copies the settings over, but it doesn't delete settings, if you see what I mean. So if we go to that one. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Want a scumbag? Yeah, it didn't copy the delete. It copies controls, but not the act of deleting something. Unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Eddie, thank you, mate. Uh, Trotters, thank you for forty-five. Refrig. Uh, I did that one. That was a new one referee. You should chat with the firmless developer to record. Hello and welcome to some nut house. I don't think they'd be up for that somehow. What'd be good is if, like the sound files were just accessible on the hard drive and you can just swap in other ones. And then I could do it. 
I could just take the wave file and go, hello and welcome to, and then just go, nut out on the end. <laughs> and welcome to nut out. <laughs> you know, like seamless, <laughs> seamless edit. I'll just do it in like a Yorkshire style. Hello and welcome to nut out. That'd be a brilliant announcement for a Yorkshire driver in Germany. That's really weird how it goes widescreen when I come out of track IR. How does that work? Oh, that's quite sharp. Oof. You still got faith that SCS will reach coach him? Really, muffins? Well, I don't. <laughs> it's been too many years. That's definitely a project that's been frozen. Yeah, but a bend like that should have a speed limit change, shouldn't it? Like, you can't have a 100k limit and then do an almost 90 degree bend. That Merc wasn't messing around through that chicane. Uh, big rig, Paul, welcome back. Me and Mrs. Squirrel watched the semi-finals last night of the um, the Great Model Railway Challenge. I think the final's on next week. It's pretty fun. There's some cracking builds on it. Like, it actually makes you want to get into it, you know? It actually makes you want to build a model railway because it looks so much fun. I was Scotsman. Thank you for 30 months. It's enjoyable, Timmy boy, isn't it? I'm not sure if I've watched Series 1. I've watched, I'm watching 2, but I, I can't remember if I ever watched Series 1. I might go back and watch it. That's how you got into Airfix. I got into Airfix as a kid. I had a train set, but I built quite a few model planes. Uh, number one for the UK, welcome to the Nut House. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the nutty welcome, guys. Yeah, I built a couple of warships, but mostly planes is what I built. if we can try and stick to the timetable this time. To be fair, the timetable wasn't my fault last time. The traffic was horrendous coming out of uh, Geneva. Welcome if you just joined. I think we'll have to make it so that it snows on the next trip. Or at least looks pretty wintry. What's the place we're at right now? Um, we just left Marseille, and which is on the south coast of France. And we're on, on our way 
the south coast is on our left, so we're kind of heading west, roughly. And then we'll turn and go down to Perpignan. So we're basically going along the south coast of France. 11am uh, was a schedule break, which is after Perpignan. Is that another French nuclear power station by any chance? With floaty things? What the heck? Those black things look like they're floating. Not a nuclear station, it's an anti gravity station. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Wow. Is it a good game? Define good. <laughs> I, I don't know how to answer that question. Let me put it this way, it's not a high quality game. Def there are lots of things that have passed through quality control that shouldn't have done. But it is what it is. It's a bit clunky. But you can still you can still derive fun out of it. Wow, it's gone misty. I like that. That looks really cool. I like the way that we went seamlessly into really thick fog. Now that's good. And I wish your truck would do that. Uh, Carl, 0105685, welcome back. Dude, let me move over. Wow, that's some crazy for me. Jeez, man, you can't even see what's happening. Blimey. If anybody's, like, breaking in front of me, we're done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait for it. Bang. That's some pretty nasty fog. Look at the speed! X-ray vision. Yikes. It's like being inside of a kettle. You're not the only one, Thomas. Uh, Versa, thank you for 15 months. Sauna vision. The cars just go past and just disappear. It's very spooky. Yeah, weather like this is pretty dangerous. The fog is inside the bus. I don't know. It 
shells no sign of thinning out either. Uh, boosted dog, thank you for 11 months. What's that? It's like normal fog would be a bit patchy. You know, you'd have your thin and then it'd go thick and then it'd go back to thin again. This is just relentlessly thick. Could be a massive pile up in a minute for sure. Surprised that in real life there's been many accidents in this thick fog because some idiots don't have their fog lights on. Yeah, the thing is though about fog lights is like the rear ones are pretty necessary, but the front ones tend to reflect the light back and make it even worse. Can you put that please? I'm just travelling in very thick fog right now. Mind you, what? Mine's been from Friday night. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's just horrendous. I'm a bit fast, though. Fast? I'm only, I'm only going 70 k's. It's like 50 mile an hour, but it feels a lot faster. But you see the speed everybody's overtaking me. People are flying past. Look. Absolutely crazy they are. No, that's the hard shoulder deer. I don't yeah, want to... I know you to yeah, it happens. It's hard to see the line. <laughs> right, this weather needs to lift, and it needs to lift quickly. You know, like the Tesla can drive itself. You just have to touch the the wheels. I wonder what a Tesla would would be like in weather like this. I wonder if it can see the road ahead way better than you can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did anybody else see that then? Did anybody else notice something? Yeah, exactly. The scary face. Did you see that? Watch this. When you go from internal to external camera, watch this. You see that? What on earth? What on earth is that? <laughs> is that like some weird Halloween thing or is that unintentional? That's proper weird. Do you think they've like snuck it in for Halloween or? Probably a character model. What? What? Consistently? Come on. Look at the teeth. That's not a character model. 
Somebody, somebody get a still of that so we can have a look at it properly. Somebody, like, load that in and go frame by frame and then take a still of it. Because I want to see that. Yeah, clipping it's no good. You need to, like, have a still of it. Actually, I could probably do it with OBS. I could get OBS to record it and then I can just scrub through it. Oh boy, that's a little bit choppy here. Okay, I want this weather to go away now. Strike Eagle, thank you for seven months. Maybe it only happens in fog too. I reckon it does, you know. Maybe it's like a joke and the accident left it in. The weather's beginning to scare you, lol. What's that break? 11 a.m. We only drew to arrive at 10:40. It's because the player model is enabled before the camera is changed. Oh, ho, ho. Tharox has clipped it. Oh my god, dude. That is properly weird. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Gone. That is amazing. Hang on, one time a sec, I'll get it on screen. That's what it looks like. Credit goes to Vakanov in chat. Thank you, Vakanov. Look at that. Like, seriously? <laughs> That's actual genius. That is creepy. Oh, boy. Happy anniversary. That is properly creepy. Yeah, because I chose the female character, didn't I? I feel like tweeting them. Maybe I should tweet them. Hey, Redcom. Send it to devs and see if they know why is it happening. I really want to. I want to tweet that to them. What's the image, Simple Sim? It's what happens when you go from internal to external camera like that. You get a weird ghost of the inside of your head. I wonder if that's happening because track IR's turned off. If I have track IR turned on and I do it, oh, you still get it. Not quite as much, but you, you do still get it. You get a slightly different view. 
It's more of an eyeball view, though. <laughs> oh, God. Is there a way of just turning this fog off now? <laughs> uh, the stubborn trucker. One second. Thank you for two months. Uh, maybe that coach is haunted. Oh. Feels like it. Bing! How can I see in front? I'm literally following the white lines and glancing at the sat nav to get an idea of what's coming. But yeah, if there's stationary traffic in front of us, we're going straight into it. I think it's lifting. I can see sh I can see things in the distance like shadows. You see it? I think the fog is lifting a little bit. I actually feel like we can see further. Maybe not. Uh, Falcon, thank you very much for nine months. Forty-four months of mob. Lovely way of seeing the new DLC. <laughs> Very true. I love the new map design, landscaping details. It's it looks amazing, and the FPS is so good. Is it bad externally? Yeah, it's not just a case of the windows being misted up. Trust me. Definitely more visibility. Uh, spins and wheelies, thank you, mate. Good to see you getting some benefit out of those peanuts. Out of Halloween territory. That was nasty, man. It was really bad. Andrew, New York. Thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the Net House, Andrew. Twenty Ks to Pepignon. Or as we like to say in the east of London, her pig nan. <laughs> Welcome back, RRKO. drop off on that tarmac, it just goes like poof. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you cut that exit, you're straight off the tarmac, you're done. Is that monster gone now? Maybe. Oh, you still see it, but it's when it's foggy, that's when it's properly scary. You've got all the sub emotes, the only thing you do is highlight messages. No, that's not true, Connor. You can take the emotes and you can modify them. Excuse me. Have you tried that yet, Connor? Are you going to stream the new flight sim? Of course I am. you can only filter on an emote. If you can only filter on an emote, I'd like to have that along with a mirror copy. Oh, you mean take a modified emote and modify it again? Is that what you mean? Yeah, just, Connor, it'll, it'll take you like an hour to save up points. And then you can try it. So yeah, you can, you can take an emote, Connor, and you can apply different effects to it. Like, I did one. Let me, let me show you mine. I did one that looks like that. So I took the Squirrel Ross emote and then added like a... Like the finger sign, so you go like, oh. With Squirrel Ross. Or you can take something and like flip it horizontally. Which what somebody did yesterday. With the Squirrel Shock emote. And then you put them next to each other, look, look quite funny. Dude, what are you doing? Just trying to make my life difficult, aren't you? Why are you subscribed to your own channel? Santosh, wouldn't it be super weird if I couldn't use my own emotes? That would be like, everybody can use the emotes apart from me. Do you not find that a bit weird? What about Discord? Like, I can't even access my own Discord server because I'm not stuck to myself. How does that work? <laughs> oh boy, didn't expect that. many people getting on there by the look of it. Happy you or not. What time are we supposed to be here? 10.40. What time is it now? 10.39. <laughs> and that's through crazy fog. Come on, you lot. You've got three minutes. To lose, we can do that. You just want me to fill in the forms for you, don't you, love? You just can't be bothered. Is that everybody? Let's have a look at check in. Everybody checked in. Right, we need a 15 minute break. Hi, 
Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzlich... Ja, der war noch von da, I reckon. I said, yeah. Yeah, you get the emote for 24 hours. You can unlock a random one, or you can unlock a specific one. And you can access to it for 24 hours. Right, so we need to find a parking space fairly quickly. Is this like National Bus? Yeah, pretty similar concept. Flixbus is like a intercity bus. Is it last journey? Um, I don't think it's going to take us till five o'clock. So I don't know how we're going to do this exactly. Like, timing-wise, it's going to be tricky. I don't know, can you do that? Flug, can you park anywhere? Furphy, sorry. Are we allowed to park anywhere? And rest? Or do we have to go to a rest area? Dream Trucker, thank you for 58 months. We're getting the five years incoming. At Christmas, mate. Five years at Christmas. Imp, how you doing, bro? Yorkshire tea. Anybody have a supercar? You need to take a break. I know, it's not worth a break. I don't have a supercar. Does it show on, on the map? Are we supposed to take, like, literally, it tells you to take a break at 11. There's not one rest area until here. By then, it'll be pretty late. What we're supposed to do just pull over on the late by. thing is cool. Glad you like it. I like it. I think they're going to add a lot more stuff to it. I 
Red Dark DLC, DLC doesn't even use Google Maps to recreate France's feelings. What do you mean? Benjamin? Uh, blind Anarchy, welcome. Pyrox, have you decided if you're going to go to TwitchCon next year? People are saying it's best to stay out of the city and just get a hotel further away. Truckfest thing as well, haven't you? Was Truckfest after TwitchCon or before it? I can't remember. Yeah, I saw that imp. If you want to get into if you want to get into your truck, now's the time with that kind of a discount. It's after. Sometimes I swear those cars are floating. It might be an illusion, like if you look at its tyres, the shadow doesn't start right next to the tyre. So it, it kind of looks like it's floating, but it might not be. Whoa! No, I will be not, not be getting Call of Duty now. I've seen gameplay of the multiplayer and it's just the same thing again, so... Eh. I'm gonna play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PC instead. And have a lot more fun doing it. This Twitch isn't being glitchy like it was last Sunday. Yeah, that was because of the Fortnite thing, I think, Thomas. The whole Fortnite Season 2 thing killed everything. I think there's a rest spot down here. Uh, I'd like to, Connor. I'm going to look at my schedule and try and get it so I can play it on release day. Which I think is like a Tuesday, which I don't normally stream on, but, you know, I might have to do something special. It was your birthday yesterday, you got gifted Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC, the Ultimate Edition. Noise. We should be coming up on the rest stop. I, I think the best way I can think of describing this game is unpolished. Everything about it is unpolished. It's all very rough around the edges. It starts off with the interface, like the whole UI system is, is so clunky and unpolished, it's ridiculous. And then you've got the graphics, which definitely feel unpolished. The sound effects feel unpolished. There's just so much about it that feels, well, rough. How many years has it been out? Three. Wow. Three years and they still have the same UI as they had on release day. 
which in fact I remember playing early access of this game before it was released and even the UI then sucked Take a break. Four years in August 2020. Shocking. Ten passengers, here we go. Right, you lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where are you all? Nine. Ten. Nice. Nobody hiding this time. Why is it not starting? It's supposed to hold down the ignition and it starts. Is it in gear? Shouldn't be in gear. Guess it was. That's ridiculous. to nine Ks. It was like a party home, wasn't it? I keep wanting to use this for camera like I do in Euro Truck and it, it's not having it. That's a very copper coloured car. What did I think of Microsoft Flight Sim? Um, have you watched my video? <laughs> Shifter, Thrustmaster TH-80 with a uh, Almar SKRS truck shifter on top. Will channel points still work with Sunday Night Trucking? Yep, they're enabled on the channel now. They work all the time. All the time I'm streaming and you're here, you accumulate points. Uh, Void Speedy, thank you for 31 months. Can't believe it's 31 since I first subbed. Loving the streams as always. Thank you. Is it friendly to those who have never touched a flight sim? No more or no less to any other flight simulator. I think the UI is probably friendly enough 
for somebody that's never touched a flight sim. But there's no getting around the fact that, you know, you've got to learn some basics in order to get a plane up in the air and back down again, you know? You can't, you can't get around that fact. But I think when it comes out, I'll probably, like, cover some basics. Get people into it. You also get points for being in chat when you're not live. Um, how many, Baz? What's the... I don't understand why you would get points when I'm not live. That's weird. I must admit, but I didn't read that in the guide. I don't remember it saying that. If you got points for not being live, surely it would be in that guide, Baz. Will it have a training tutorial? Unknown. Um, maybe. I mean, no Microsoft. They'll probably put something in there, but it's not announced yet. You want to start learning how to fly on a sim? Well, that's what sims are for. Nice trees. If you have two screens, will I get double points? No. It's bound to your account. More trees. <laughs> oh my god, there's an entire forest in front of me. Oh boy. I was actually expecting to have a full on. <laughs> You've hit a tree. <laughs> Triple A quality. Early access, mate. That's the excuse for everything these days. To be, to be fair to them, they accidentally released the France DLC earlier than they planned to. I don't know how they accidentally did it, but they accidentally released it. So they came out, put their hands up and said, you know what, we're, we're just going to leave it out now. But it is early access and there are bugs and you will see weird stuff and you may even crash. So... Fair play to them for putting their hands up, but... I'm not... I don't think they've discounted the price accordingly. I think they're still charging full price for an early access thing, which is a bit weird. John the Raccoon, 28 months. Another month gone. Just arrived back from driving from Southampton to Newcastle. That is a long drive, dude. There's no doubt about that. That's a long drive. Yeah, but GTA 5, it's by the time you've bought it, it's already too late, you know? You need to be told that before you buy it. Which, which it does, it says early access. Why are there trees in the road? I literally just explained. <laughs> B9, I just, I just explained why there are trees in the road. Yeah, you get more peanuts if you're in chat and it, and it pops up with a message and you click it to claim them. They're like quite a few bonus points. The mirrors look pretty realistic. The, the mirrors do look pretty realistic, actually. In fact, the mirrors look more realistic than the view out the windscreen, which I can't quite work out. Like that view through the mirror there, I think, looks better than the view out of the glass law which is very very odd
there's something about the view out the front that just kind of looks washed out and unnatural. Uh, I am Bonio. Thank you for 22. Oh boy. Would it be better if we turn Bloom off completely? I don't know. Not really. It's like there's a moonlight, not sunlight. I don't know what it is. I think it looks better when it's cloudy. <laughs> I know the Unreal Engine can do a lot better than this. When you go in a tunnel, is this going to do it now? No, it's not doing it here. See, that light level looks better. Not ter no, they're not terrible. I think like the, uh, the the rendering on the vehicles is is decent. It's just something about the rendering of the scenery outside that isn't real. It's almost unreal. Thank you, Brandon. Is it with these barriers? I swear they, they just troll you deliberately. I mean, why let you in straight away when they can just make you wait for 10 seconds, right? To lose someone. Thirteen, thirteen. Look at that! I've got them there early. That's outrageously good. You can't com you can't complain at that. Where they gone? Oi! Okay. Wow. That's an interesting her set of her dying things going on there. Do you reckon she had white hair and dyed it black, or black hair and dyed it white? Hello. You've got the pigeon look as well. Must be uh Whoa! It must be an in thing. There's three of them. It's a wig. What all three of them got? Four of them got a wig?
See, now I'm beginning to think this is some weird rendering bug. Yeah, exactly. Terrible shading. There's something not quite right here. Because if you look at what's going on with her, it's like got a weird pink bit in it. It's like it's put two textures together. You reckon it's the headlights? Hang on. Wow. Okay, I don't know what they're doing with the Unreal Engine to make headlights do that. But that is messed up. Hello, my name's Jeff. <laughs> he almost shrugged and turned then posing. Nice, Jeff. It's a good look. I see. Looks like Rodney out of Only Fools and Horses. What does? What have you got in that black bag? That's a very big square bag. Very suspicious. Look into my eye. Now, sometimes you really feel like you can get inside someone's head. I like how they model the eyeballs. They didn't have to. If you look at it, all they had to do was just model the eye that you could see, but they actually model the eyeball. So you can properly get inside somebody's head. There was literally no need to put a tongue and teeth in there. You can't see it anyway. KPH, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the house. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> That's just proper weird, that is. You can only do it to certain people. I have to be the right height. See, she's too small. She's definitely too small. <laughs> glass marbles don't they anyway what time is it uh, 13 to loose let's get let's get a report judge ben thank you for 54 months oh my tea's arrived thanks let's see let's see how we did here passengers transported done ticket sold three checked an invalid zero stops completed three contact with central i'm still not sure what that is but we only did one of them. Didn't run out of fuel. Drove 565Ks. That's pretty good. Uh, scheduled arrival 3. Departures 2. Bang on. On time. Resting quality 0%. Now that I don't understand. We stopped. We had a rest. I don't understand why it says quality 0. I don't get that. Nobody was left behind. All the clearances were given. Passenger compartment light 0%. Honestly, I remember clicking all of the buttons that were available. Air conditioning 96%. Again, that's a complete lie. You're welcome, Yoshi. That's a complete lie. I put that on before they even got there. I never changed the temperature. Why is it 96%? Announcement played. Two out of two. Did that. Traffic rules. Maintain driving time. What? We got there on time. In fact, I got them there early. That's outrageous. If I got them there to Perpignan exactly on time, which I did, and then arrived in Marseille, in, um, where are we now? Not Marseille. Toulouse. I got to Toulouse early. How the heck if I got no points for that? Damaged property zero. Pedestrians injured zero. One accident. What was that now? I wasn't invisible tree. I can't remember what that was. 
no radar, no speeding, driving behavior, minus one point. I don't get it. Safety distance broken five times. Again, that's not me doing that. That's cars cutting in front of you. The scoring is just uh, a lie. Go back to main menu. The accident wasn't your fault. I don't think it was. A lot of that. I should have got a fairly clean bill then. I think. I think we were hard done by a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. You drove without visibility. That in itself is driving misbehavior. <laughs> I should have got a bonus for that. Drove in thick fog plus 100 points. Right, uh, we're going to take a small intermission now. Uh, I'll be staying live, but we'll take a small intermission, and at 5 o'clock we'll be straight into Sunday Night Trucking. So just going to go to the intermission screen, play a bit of music, and I'll be back in just over 10 minutes' time. So go and grab your snacks and drinks or whatever. If you're not sticking around, have a good evening. Uh, otherwise, I'll see the rest of you very, very shortly. Bye-bye.